job that hopefully only takes us a day. We're out here just west of Tonganoxie, Kansas. A little creek here. Some pretty good walnut growing down through here. More or less just a backyard. Uh, people just bought this place. They're wanting to kind of clean it up and fix it up a little bit. And didn't want all these walnut trees down here where they kind of want to make a little recreation and party area, which is understandable. And lucky for them, we can sure assist them. So we're cutting a lot of these walnut out. And then I'm going to take the forks and I'm going to I'm going to pile the brush a little bit, not too much, because they said they wanted to cut it up themselves, which I wasn't going to argue that fact if they wanted to do that. But, uh, some really good trees. You can see that one right out here. That guy. That's a buster. That is a buster. We're just cutting them to length and packing them out by the road. It uh, should, should be pretty quick, easy deal. I think uh, 20... 28 29 trees we're rolling through them pretty quick this morning luckily we really don't have to push or pull anything just kind of free fall them so it, that makes it nice and you, you don't have to worry about a lot of the obstructions or stuff around or and especially working in areas like this usually when you have to work in areas where you're you're close to a house uh, there's there's a lot of utilities or obstructions uh, structures you got to work around but back here in this kind of lower backyard we don't have any of that stuff when we come out and looked at this here about a week ago we didn't think there was going to be any timber out here the further we got but we got right up here to the job and this little creek's just chock full of walnut the neighbors got some good trees through here i don't know if we'll see if we can buy any while we're here or not we just planned on bringing a skid steer out no log skidder but if we got some more jobs bought i'd definitely haul the skidder out here Get ready to fork this one. Tell signs about trees don't lie. When we looked at this job, we seen that squirrel hole in that tree. The whole thing nearly cut bad. This chunk here can't even utilize any of it. We're gonna try to get a little bit out of that there, but this one here just ain't no good at all. The whole thing over there. Get over here. See what it looked like there below that squirrel hole where it cut off. That was a big tree too. But like I said, you know when we, when we looked at these, we had a real good feeling about that. So it's not that uh, not that it was a big surprise. Grab this guy here. Got 
one getting ready to come down here. Making pretty good progress. I know I, I said earlier I wasn't going to pile the tops. Really didn't have to because they wanted to cut them up. But I've kind of I've been using the forks and just kind of packing them around the best I can. So we've we've got it looking pretty decent, other than the small stuff. If I had my brush grapple, I'd rake that stuff up real good too. But Brandon and I are actually doing some repairs to it right now, so it's kind of out of operation. It's a shame the big tree we cut here it cut off good at the butt, but uh, 12 foot up it cut a little wormy. Hated to see that. Seems like that's kind of been our ruck or <laughs> been our luck here lately. Uh, on those bigger trees, they've they've cut off good, but when you go to buck them in links on up the log, that's where they've been cutting bad for us on uh, these last several big trees we've cut here in the last month or two in this area between Platte City and here wind's starting to pick up a little bit we don't need that don't need that at all it's about to go there she goes Yeah, this small stuff here, without the grapple, it's hard to, hard to get it cleaned up. I'm trying to fork this stuff here real quick. Of course, you can see it's nearly impossible because that's what happens. It just falls off the forks. Sometimes you can get it if the branches are laying in there, right, which will... Uh, We'll kind of sort it out here again. A bunch of this stuff around here. Just kind of want to barely go above the ground. You don't want to get into the ground with the forks. Let's try it again. There we go. Pretty good, pretty good approach that time. Pretty good brush pile here. And it's not my best cleanup job, but all things considered, I don't think it's too bad. We can still kind of bunch it up fairly tight with the forks. Especially since that really, I wasn't asked to pile it up. I just kind of, I enjoy doing it because I like things to look good when we're done. Like I said, if I had my grapple, brush grab but we can make this look like a city park look at this guy this guy right here look at that worker he got the chain around his neck packing the gas and oil that's a candidate for employee of the month right there <laughs> Mike has been a big help today that's for sure he's uh he's been a big help He really is. I mean, we we all joke around with each other and torment each other, and sometimes we'll kind of gang up on Mike because it's fun, and he knows it's all in good fun. And I mean, he'll dish it right back out too. But he uh, he really is pretty valuable to us a lot of days. You know, there's some days where we just don't have much for him to do, but then there's days where sure glad we got him with us and today's one of them you know a job like this we're trying to get it all busted out and done in one day uh, Mike, Mike's able to pick up the slack for me and Kenny on a lot of things with Kenny cutting to me running the skid steer or Kenny and I take turns uh, cutting it's nice to have Mike fetching stuff, just going to get one thing or the other. So he really does. He's, he's pretty valuable to us. That really cleaned up pretty good, I think, all things considered through there. Without a brush grapple, I thought that cleaned up real well. And, uh, especially since that really, we were told not to even worry about the cleanup, just to leave it where it laid. But 
we went ahead. I I just can't help but kind of pushing that stuff up together. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.